Hi, welcome to Razor's Armory again. Today we're going to be doing a two-part review. Let's go over my workbench and then we'll get to the uh, Hornady box in the back. I built this bench the last two days. I use a 2x4 Western Red Cedar as well as 4x4 Western Red Cedar and 3 quarter inch CDX plywood. Had ripped them at Lowe's. Uh, it's 3 feet long or 3 feet wide. Eight feet long, three feet high. I built the shelf down here, got a little fancy, cut the little corners to make it look good. For my uh, ammo cans, my bug out bag, a heater, cause it is Texas, starting to get cold and it is, de it is December. As well as some other tools and stuff back there. The top is nice and sturdy. This end will have my reloader on here. I ordered this. Well, I got this when I ordered the uh, ultrasonic cleaner from Hornady. It was a gift from them, I guess. It's got all their ammo and shotgun shells and whatever bullets they sell, I guess. <clears throat> yes, I am a Texans fan. Don't hold it against me. <clears throat> yeah, I know they suck right now. Ultrasonic cleaner. This slides back and forth. So if you do brass, you can drain your brass. There's a little hole right in there. So it'll right there, so it'll drain into the thing and you don't lose any cleaner. This goes right here over the middle. So you can cover it. This has holes in it as well, so you can set it over here on this side and let your brass drain. It comes with this, you turn it in a 90 degree position, and it starts draining in your hose right here. That comes in it as well. You got this little one, it'll fit anywhere in there. You can put your brass or smaller parts in there. If you got brass, you can stick it in here, fill it full of black brass cleaning solution, and run it while you're running an upper. Comes with four of these bungees. Three of them are already in there. Comes with this. You can do your small parts and run it in there if you're cleaning brass and other parts. We will be doing this 16-inch upper today. It is for my ACR. It is 762 by 39 bolt or barrel built by Marvin Pitts of Nefarious Arms. Let's go over some of the functions. This right here, the top button is the solution timer. If you put your solution in there, you can set it up to 10 minutes and as you use it, it'll tell you how long your solution's been in there and you need to change it. Temperature function or button you set your temperature right here. Right now I've got it set to 122 degrees. It's heating. Button right here turns the heater on. As long as this light's blinking, it's warming up. Once it hits this, this light right here lights up, this will stop blinking and it'll go off. This is the ultrasonic cleaner. That's what's going to be running. Hit the function button right here. This degassing light lights up. When you run that, it gets all the bubbles that are on the bottom and in when you change solution, bubbles that are trapped in the solution, you run it for about three minutes, it gets all the bubbles out. Timer starts off at five minutes, goes to 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to keep mine at 20. So <clears throat> the temperature is at 22. This is your... Uh, solution timer and then up there <clears throat> it has a max level here i don't have it full up it'll rise up once i put this in there it holds about two gallons a little over two gallons probably about two and a half i use distilled water and then of course the hornady one shot parts gun parts formula So, once the water gets heated up, we'll start and we'll put this 16-inch uh, ACR barrel in there and we'll get it clean. I don't know if you can see it, but it's pretty dirty. Especially down at this end right here. You can see all that carbon built up on there and everything. So, you know it's kind of carbon in there. I'm using this to actually see what the water temperature is. And it is 124. So... It will be cutting off here shortly. So once it heats up, 
I'll turn it back on and we'll go with there. All right. Oh, it did come on. Oh, there it is. You see the lights blinking? I guess to let me know it's warmed up. So <clears throat> we're gonna set this cleaner in barrel in there and get it clean. All right. See how it holds it in there. You can go ahead and turn it on. Oh, look at that right there. You can tell that sucker's dirty. Yeah, that's what you want to see right there. <laughs> look at all that crap coming out of there. That carbon's doing a good. That carbon's done. Ultrasonic cleaner's doing its job. See some bubbles coming out the end down there. Might have to clean this solution sooner than expected. All right, I'm gonna let that run for the 20 minutes. And, uh, well, once it's done running, we'll come back and uh, I'll let you see how clean it's gotten. And then you can decide whether you wanna get one of these things or not. All right, <clears throat> we're back. We got about one second. It looked like it's done. So, <clears throat> go ahead and pull this out. And I prepared a, uh, patch to run through it see how clean it is let me get that out of there set the camera down see how clean this is water is warm oh, the chair from the Marine Corps works good I don't know if you can tell it but it's smoking look right there Oh, hell of a lot cleaner right there. There is still some carbon right there, but wipes right off. <clears throat> you saw the carbon that was smoking out of it when we started. And uh, set the camera down and we'll run a patch down here real quick. And see how good it is. Oh wow, as you can tell there's very little carbon, if any, on there. Let's run it through the other end, see how that works. Uh, a little bit, you can see right there, but otherwise, extremely freaking clean it's not going to get everything totally out especially a built up carbon uh down here on bolts and stuff like that and around the firing pin it's not going to get that clean you'll have to scrub a little bit of it but you know you're getting it a lot cleaner than it was so <clears throat> if you're thinking about ordering one um and you want to do your whole 16 inch upper or an SBR barrel like this 7 inch that I have. Um, this is the only one that I know of that's in, being sold right now that, hat, that can fit a 16 inch upper in there um, at, at one time and do it. Uh, I enjoy it. I don't know if you can see it, but the water's smoking. I have it set at 122 uh, degrees. It'll go up to 140 so far, I'm loving it. I had a smaller one, the Hornady, uh, I think it was like, maybe it held like maybe a pint of water or maybe a quart. I'm not really sure. Um, my cousin's using that now to clean brass along with his, uh, our wet tumbler that we use for reloading. So I ordered this from Man Venture Outdoor. Ordered it December 4th on a thursday it came yesterday december 9th so i paid uh 414 dollars shipped uh from them they had a uh 2015 blitz coupon that you could put on there so i got five percent off of it so the shipping which was 30 bucks made it go up to 114 bucks but I can't say enough good things about it. I'm a big fan of Hornady stuff. 
Like I said, I've got the uh, ammo plant coming. That'll probably be here right after Christmas. So if you'll stay tuned, we will do a review of that and show you some reloading um, under the reloading section, which this will be posted under. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Razor's Armory for more videos and more updates.